everyone how are we all doing today so today I'm going to be doing dandelion nails and I'm not sure if I'm just gonna be doing this one yet or whether I'm gonna be doing a more of a set um, but I've got my stands out ready just in case so for now I'm just gonna be doing the one nail and this is the image I saw that I'm taking the inspiration from uh, I have no clue who did it unfortunately it's not named or anything if anybody does know then please let me know so i can give credit where it's due but as you can see that was a very beautiful dandelion nail using glitters so i've got my black for my dandelion drawings and my base is going to be this lovely nude color which is cashmere and then i've got these two glitters here uh, this first one I actually don't end up using, but I had it with me just in case. In a way, it's still absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Love it. But this one I do use, and this is for the dandelion mm, petals, would you call them? So I'm going to be using these bigger chunks here a lot in this video. So, got my nail tip. And I'm going to be doing um, a layer of the cashmere. So that's one coat. I set that and I go in and do a second coat. And now that I've got two layers of that, I'm going in with black and my CJP line it fine. And I'm going to be drawing the stem of the dandelion. And then I'm also drawing the little stems as well as if bits of the dandelion were being blown off. That bit, I didn't like it, that was a bit too thick, it needed to be thinner, so quickly rub that off. Forget about it, it never happened. <laughs> so now I'm going in and drawing the little bits of fluff stems. I don't really know what you'd call them. <laughs> you know, the bits that you blow off. Drawing all of those. I'm drawing the dandelion. <laughs> To be fair, I quite like the way it looks there, and then I think I end up adding more and don't like it as much in the end. <laughs> so I'm doing the little bits for the little ones now. So that's what I've got so far. So I set that. And while that's curing, I've got my lovely Coca-Cola with me, refreshing on this hot day. <laughs> so now that I've finished downing that drink, I have cured this nail. And I'm going in with my glitter nail. So I've got a bit of top coat there that I'm dipping my brush into and using to pick up the glitters to pop on. But then I have a brainwave and I realise, hang on a minute, it'll be a lot easier if I just put the base coat, um, top coat straight on, <laughs> straight on here and then add the glitter afterwards. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just putting the top coat on the bits where I'm going to be placing it and I'm picking up the bits of glitter and these are... Again, I, I don't know the names of the parts of the dandelion. <laughs> These are the little suds or whatever. <laughs> I just feel like the dandelion nails with the glitters is just so much more prettier. It just adds that something to it, doesn't it? I mean, the normal drawn dandelions are beautiful 
too but you know when there's a chance to add glitter you add glitter <laughs> So I think I'm happy with that. So I cured that and this is what I've got so far. I felt like it still needed a bit of something something. So I'm, nope, never mind. Hang on. I'm adding more of this glitter at the moment. Okay, I'm adding more of this glitter at the moment. Ignore me. But um, Today was not a good day for filming, um, multiple things went wrong within this uh, video and I'm afraid you are about to see one of the tragedies. you cry I cried a lot so now that I've got glitter everywhere and I can't believe I caught that moment on film um, but <laughs> now that I've got glitter everywhere I did manage to save some of it and put it back in the pot but now I've got it all over my hands got it all over my face at this point I am just breathing glitter at this point <laughs> anyway now is the time where I decided it needed a bit more so I decided to go in with this glitter and just add a bit more it's just meant to be like more stuff blowing in the wind i suppose more effect So this is what we've got so far and mm, I'm not really that pleased with it as such. It's just kind of meh. Um, so before anything else happens, I top coat it in a way. Uh, I still felt like mm, either more needed to be added or it was just too much. I think I put too much glitter on the main dandelion there. Um, I don't know I just wouldn't completely set on this first attempt so I grab another tip and try again so this is a new tip two layers of the cashmere and I'm going in again so for starters I'm going to be doing for starters I'm going to be doing a longer stem because I thought this stem in the other one was a bit short looked a bit odd And now I'm adding in whatever you want to call it, the bits of the dandelion. <laughs> this is looking more like a spike ball on the end of a stick at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> so we are about to see another tragedy. I am happy with this finished look. So. I go to cure it and I put my thumb in it and as you can tell I've just I've, I've given up of life at this point I'm like really just built all this damn glitter now I've done this so all I did was got a lint free wipe with some cleanser wiped off that bit and regrew the stem but yes as I said earlier I was not having a good day filming this video <laughs> things kept going wrong 
Anyway, I'm now going into my toco again. So all of this nail is basically speeded because I'm doing exactly the same as last time. I'm just trying to make it look a bit better. Um, but I'm going in my bits of glitter again. So for this one, I concentrate on putting more glitter around the edges and not so much in the middle of this dandelion. I think I put the smaller glitter in the middle and not the bigger chunks. So before anything else happens to that, quick cure it. <laughs> and I'm now going back in with my black and doing the little ones that are flying away again. And popping the bits of glitter on there as well. So I'm happy with that, so I'm going in with my top coat, being a bit more generous on the areas where there is glitter, so then it covers it and makes it smooth. So this is the finished result of the two. I definitely think the second one is a bit better, but still could be improved. Um, but definitely I prefer the longer stem than this little ditty short one. I think it looks the second one looks like it's flowing a bit better anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a like and subscribe and i shall see you in the next video stay smiling bye